Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give a quick update as far as what I'm doing with the site and what my workings with Enochian are, and just some general goals. So I guess I'll start with the site itself. It's basically been a work of mine to try to lower the threshold to entry. So um, one of the things that Lon Milo Duquette mentions in his book, Enochian Vision Magic, is the creation of some tools, you know, such as the, the Ring of Practice, which is, you know, right here, version of that, or, um, you know, the, the Holy Table, etc. You know, and so that's fine and all. I guess you can, you can definitely go ahead and, and make versions of that from the copies of the documents that he presents, but it's not as easy if you just sort of are like, well, am I going to have to draw this out? Am I going to have to do this, that, and the other thing? So I went ahead and created an Enochian implements documentation, basically the Enochian furniture or tools, you know, what have you, um, which is basically a very large Excel spreadsheet, which you do need to download the Enochian font for. But other than that, like all the work's done for you. You know, if you want to print off a holy table of practice, that's fine. If you want to print out um, uh, the the ring, you know, you know, a paper version of the golden ring in gold ink, then you can go ahead and do that using that document. So it's really intended for those of you who um, are interested in Enochian, but don't have time to make a lot of the furniture. It's right there. You just need Excel, download the fonts, because there's a flip font that also goes with that, a flipped Enochian font that goes with that. And then that's it. Um, and so that's been one of my main goals is to like say, okay, you know, here you go. Here are the tools that if you wanted to print it out and don't have the time to make it yourself, you can do that. And then the rest of it, you do need to read, but I mean, you could easily print all those out and do, let's say the, one of the Enochian calls, specifically the call to Tex, that Aether of Tex, and just, you know, try it out. Maybe it doesn't work the first time. Try it one or two more times. I've mentioned this in previous videos that that's sort of like the easiest way to like try, um, get started trying. And if not, you know, you could always go to a teacher who does this sort of thing. I, I don't teach. Sometimes I'll lead like a free session, uh, Zoom session, but you know, uh, not, not recently. I'll probably start those up relatively soon. Anyway, so that's the first thing I wanted to mention is just sort of, okay, well, what's the, what's the Enochian you know, Today site all about, etc. And of course, as I go along, I also want to document my thoughts on magic in general, but because I'm an Enochian heavy practitioner, uh, I, I tend to focus on that. And of course, that's the name of the site. But sometimes I'll also post Buddhist Vajrayana stuff, um, you know, thoughts on magic in general, that sort of thing. And I've, I've worked with a lot of different systems. It just happens that over the last, you know, several years, I've worked mainly with Enochian. Um, and that's not to say that I have a huge diversity of experience. I'm sure there are plenty of chaos magicians who've done way more. Um, but I'm also not completely limited to Enochian or, or Western magic in general. So, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, well, what am I working on right now? How, why aren't the, why aren't the updates as frequent as they used to be? Well, the reason for that is that I've been getting this large Enochian download. I've been going to, I'm going to try to initiate slash, um, catalyze that for lack of a better word, uh, by, um, just doing a quick call, um, long story short, you can do the call to the Aethers and then, um, instead of using the actual name of the Aether, you can put in any word that, any word in Enochian that you want. You can also put in a, you know, a whole bunch of other things and kind of see what you get. That is if you've sort of been practicing it and you're capable of having some kind of, you know, experience beyond the ordinary when you're doing the Enochian calls. 
So what I'm doing to start out is, um, or to st what, I've, what I've already started, I should start out with that, is I started with basically a mandala that includes all 100 of the capitalized letters in the Watchtower tablets. Go ahead and feel free to look those up. But it's basically the Great Table. It's also known, the Watchtower tablets are all derived from that. It had to do with Edward Kelly having a vision of Watchtowers that, you know, also included trumpeters and princes and kings and stuff like that. But I'm getting, so I started off with that. I thought that's pretty interesting. And it seemed like there was a, like a certain pattern that I was being shown to, to use with those 100 letters. And then just, you know, I mean, it's, it starts off kind of intuitively like that. Like the angels are like, you know, hey, there's this and that and the other thing. Did you notice that? And they're like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Let me take a look at that. And slowly stuff sort of tends to build. That's just sort of my process. Some people I'm sure they get directly, they hear the voices very clearly and as if it were somebody else in this room. Uh, I will, I don't usually get it like that. Um, although that can happen, maybe not quite to the clarity of somebody in the room, but it's, I can definitely hear clear words being spoken. Um, anyway, that's a side tangent, but, um, so that 10 by 10 table of 100, the 100 capitalized letters from the Watchtower tablets, that then sort of started morphing and I was told, okay, pick out these different tables that were 49 by 49, or excuse me, seven by seven, so 49 letters in all, and add to them here and there, you know, remix them. And I got a, a larger table, a 19 by 19 table. And that sort of has evolved again to, you know, basically, so those 100 letters were put in that 19 by 19 table. So that was the first, so obviously a 19 by 19 table, that's two dimensions. Then I got a download for a larger table, but that was supposed, supposed to use that same vertical line, that axis line, and basically turning it into a three-dimensional table. You know, basically, you know, you, you have this first table, which is two-dimensional, and then imagine that rotating 90 degrees towards you, and then suddenly you have the three by three. So what's happening right now is I'm in the middle of a fourth table, or of a third table, which would take that into four dimensions. And, well, why am I bringing all this up? Um, well, the the sense that I get is that this will be an ongoing process, maybe for years, maybe for decades, um, where I'm going to keep on getting downloads, basically, and trying to... I noticed that in the most recent one, there have been more numbers than usual. So if you've worked with Libra Loga, commonly known as Libra Loga, the proper name is Amzes and I guess it's Harda, but nobody calls it that. Um, except me. <laughs> You'll notice that in Leaf 9a that there is a, um, a that, that that leaf within it, that table, has numbers in it. It's the only one that actually is made, is partly made up of numbers. And it's actually the circle of numbers about that sort of divides one set of letters from the outside square from the inner circle of letters. And I think I've done some brief analysis on that. And it definitely made the whole book and all of that. So, so, and I've, I've talked about that in podcast appearances. You can look that up by searching my site, but so what I've, what I've noticed that, though, is that the there are numbers that are coming in for this latest table that are more than I expected, you know, kind of surprising. So I went ahead and, you know, I'm putting those in and there's some of this, it's making a rash, some rational sense. Others, it's like, I'm just kind of going with it, uh, even though I don't completely understand. So that's well and good, but I've noticed that you know, I'm, 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 I'm good at math. Okay. You know, I'm, I, I had a decent, you know, math score on the SAT and stuff like that. But what I noticed is that I'm starting to like reach the limits of my own, um, mathematical, mathematical understanding. Um, 
So what I'm going to do today is uh, use sort of a remixed version of that Call to the Aethers, where I'm basically, I haven't quite decided yet, I'll probably do the Call to Lil, ask for some guidance on that, but I'm going to basically substitute the Enochian word for numbers in there and say, oh you heavens which dwell in, and probably I'll say either the crown of numbers or the the or lil of numbers, basically the, the most closest to the union with the divine that you can get. And I'll go about that way. Now, why would I do this? To help the download of the numbers that go along with these, with this table, this, this ever expanding and dimensionality of this table that I'm basically just briefly calling like a, man, a mandala. Um, so Okay, well, why are you so obsessed, you may be asking, with this mandala? Why are, why are you bothering with this download? <laughs> I mean, why was that Edward Kelly bothering with those 24 by 24 downloads? Or 20, excuse me, 49 by 49 downloads. 2,400 letters at a clip uh, for those first ones. Well, um, there was something to making that book Libra Loga, just speaking in terms of experiential, and then I'll get into why the angels are basically telling me this, you know, that, but to, in making that Libra Loga, basically what I was, what I found was that I was opening up a lot of subtle body energy. And I don't know how to explain it better than that, except, you know, when your system is acting differently, you know, and you know, when something feels more opened up inside versus when it doesn't. So a lot of central nervous system changes. Uh, it's basically, if you could imagine like your body, you know, in its current state, or my, I'll just use my own example. My body it had what I would liken to thousands, maybe tens, hundreds of thousands of little locks. And every time I would go along and do a line, write a line uh, in the uh, book, in the book of Libra Loga, I would feel just like a little unlocking there, you know, somewhere within my subtle body. Huge angelic energy too, of course, um, angelic slash divine energy. So, well, that's well and good. And then of course I was able to use that. I still use it every time. It's just like, we'll put my hand on it, etc. And I got the, a similar thing when I did the book of silvered leaves. Um, but the reason for this mandala is that the sense I'm getting from the angels is, okay, you know, there's Libra Loga in which it's the writing of it. And, but in this mandala, which I'm just going to call it that, people will be able to like just stare and look at it and, you know, level up and feel certain things within their body unlocking. So that's a pretty cool gift. And I'm really excited about it. I'm glad about it. But it's basically, you know, you, you, you see how this is sort of paralleling the barrier to entry. It's like this will also lower the barrier to entry to having um, a development in one's consciousness. So that's it. That's what I'm doing. Um, I will still make a post from time to time. Just, you know, whatever happens to occur to me. Uh, I will go ahead and write it in there. I um, I don't have much too much else to say. Uh, as always, if you want to reach out, have any questions about uh, Enochian or stuff like that, I'm still available to answer. Uh, my turnaround time is usually within the same day that I get it, within about 24 hours or so. Uh, but who knows what could happen. Uh, you know, so just be patient and know that. Um, but of, of the priorities in terms of people I try to get back to, you know, king questions are relatively high on that list. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. And um, as far as where to find the mandala, I am uploading it anytime. If you do any search on my blog or, you know, just search site dot enochian.today or site. I think enochiantoday.wordpress.com. Um, you can just search the letters D-I-Y 
and you will find the Enochian implements. And then I will, at the very end, I have, uh, there are a whole bunch of tabs where you would print, usually print off the tools. And then at the very end, I have the actual mandalas themselves, uh, the, the tables of the mandala itself. And you should be able to take a look, see what you're getting. Uh, I'd be curious to see what energies or if you're having any angelic experiences, I would certainly be interested in that. Um, because this is, this is the, the bleeding edge, right? This is the edge where it's like, oh, we're just, you know, this is, this is like the bleeding edge of what I'm doing. You know, I know that other people, tons of other people, I, again, I want to emphasize this, all have their own approach to, to Enochian. Um, a lot of them are going to have taken it out of books like I have, but after you reach a certain point, it's like, okay, well, what else can I do? Some people wind up turning to other systems. I've stuck with Enochian. I've been, like I said, I've been trying to advance it, trying to, trying to see what new methods I can glean and see if there's any, um, if there's anything else to be shown, to be seen, to be revealed by the divine. And so far, it seems to me like Enochian is like this infinite uh, well to draw from. And so, but nonetheless, I do want to add as a final thought, this is why you should always watch to the end of my videos, is that there will be a limit to how big this mandala is going to get. Like I said, years or decades, but the sense I'm getting from the angels is that it will ultimately be 12 uh, dimensions or maybe 12 tables in all 11. And my guess is 12, 12 uh, tables and to get to 13 dimensions in all. So, and that will basically parallel what's sort of colloquially, colloquially known as 12D consciousness. So it will, it sort of does this reordering of the brain and I kind of get that. And um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, and that will, you know, assuming that even like one person gets any kind of thing off of it, I consider it time well spent. On the other hand, I also don't want to waste a lot of people's time, but I'm pretty certain that there's something extra about this. So that's it. Uh, love you all. If you have any questions, again, just reach out, just go to enochian.today or put in, leave a comment in the video or whatever. I don't do the whole like and subscribe and smashing bells and all of that. I'm not here <laughs> to drive content. This is a very, very niche kind of thing. And I know that most people don't have that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to probably upload this as I am activating the furniture. And I will see you all later. Thank you all for your interest.